This week we're going to be exploring the biggest island in the Ionian Sea and my personal favorite, the island of Kefalonia. It's a luscious Greek island and the best part, the beaches are voted to be the best in the world. And in this video, we're going to be visiting a top rated beach. At some point, it actually received a top 10 beaches around the world. First stop in this video is not in Kefalonia, it's going to be in Corinthos because there's a big sightseeing attraction here. Let's go see it. The Corinth Canal connects the Aegean Sea to the Ionian, effectively separating the Peloponnese Peninsula from the mainland Greece. This man-made canal was completed in 1893. However, the idea was incepted many centuries before its construction. In fact, Periander, the tyrant of Corinth, created his own version of a canal around 600 BC. The canal stretches over 6 kilometers in length, about 25 meters wide, and it's a vital route for international trade and maritime travel. Ooh, wow! People actually bungee jump from here. Probably not a good idea to do this with a doggy on your hands, but he's really well behaved. I feel a little dizzy. <laughs> and here's your mom just like posing right on the edge. It's Get off. beautiful though. Yeah, the colors are amazing. I think Orion enjoyed it too. What do you say, bud? As I get older, I think I'm more scared of heights. I used to not be faced by any of that. Oh, we gotta change that. I booked you for bungee jumping. <laughs> oh, yes, there you can convince me to do that stuff. Just kidding, I didn't actually book bungee jumping. I would not do it. I'd rather skydive than bungee jump. I feel like that's safer. All right, now that we saw this beautiful side, let's get on with our road trip. Next up, the port of Kilini, where we're gonna take the ferry to Kefalonia. Let's go. waiting to board the ferry boat and from there on it's just one hour and a half to Kefalonia. All the passengers of the car need to get out and uh, I'm gonna go meet them there after I park. This is actually one of the nicest Greek ferries I've been. The ferry seems really nice so far. And we have these like proper tables and chairs right at the front. We got the best seat in the house. Ryan and I came down to the garage to pull the car out and we're gonna meet everyone outside. Usually that's how it is. You just pick up your passengers on the outside. If you're doing this, you wanna be in your car before the ferry stops at the port. It's actually a pretty fast process. Let's go pick up the girls and check into our Airbnb. where we will spend the next six days exploring the whole island. Each day we will drive to a different part. It is actually the biggest Ionian island, making a destination worthy of at least a week's stay. Kefalonia has some of the best beaches in the world, and I'm not the one saying it. 
the world-famous organization behind the Blue Flag Awards did. In fact, Mirto's Beach received the Blue Flag Award for 12 years in a row. Apart from its breathtaking beaches and really cool geological phenomena, the island is also known for being the filming location of Captain Corelli's Mandolin and a worthy contender for being the home of Odysseus and Homer's Ithaca. tour of our wonderful villa for our time in Kefalonia. Let me just say it smells very clean, which makes us very happy. This is the living area, which has this really cool couch, which I would actually like something like this. We have a nice sized dining table. There's three bedrooms, so it makes sense that there would be a decent sized table over here. We have a countertop, sink, stovetop area, everything you need. I really like this window right here, how it kind of accentuates the pool out there. Let me take you to the bedrooms. So this is a three bedroom villa with two bathrooms. We have our first room here, the only room without the window. So my mom was the trooper to take it. We have the first bathroom right here, which is a really cool design. I love the lighting. And let me just say, it's like they knew I was coming. The toiletries are the brand Olivia. Ooh, that is, oh, that's so funny. That is literally the kind of smell I love. Ooh, that is really nice. That's that kind of smell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's also a typical hotel room uh, smell. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> you like hotel rooms. This is the second bedroom right here, and it has a view of Kinda. You can see it when if you're, you're laying back there. You can probably see. And there are TVs in every room, which are all smart TVs too. And finally, the master bedroom. This room that easily is the best one. Perfect view of the pool and a bathroom attached, which is smaller than the other one, but it's a similar style. And I really like the style of the place because it's nice, simple, basic in a good way. A lot of people don't like certain styles, so when you come somewhere like this, it's nice. And the best part in all of this, this only cost 1,100 euro for seven nights with our private pool and patio area. Of course, it's not right where all like the beautiful beaches are, so you're a little more in a village. It's a little hotel villa compound, so it's our villa along with, I think, another nine. It's not actually to find something like this for this cheap, easy at all. It actually took a lot of research, so if you are planning a trip like this, make sure you're checking like months ahead, like six, seven months, and then check again closer to the time if you don't find someone that, something that you like, because a lot of people have new Airbnbs, so they end up listing them like two months before the summer. We found this maybe like four months ago. If you're gonna have a car, stay a little bit outside of like the major areas and you can get something like this, something similar in other areas. It would probably be 2,500 compared to the 1,100 that we paid. So, oh, or Divan in 2009. <laughs> <laughs> or probably a lot more than 2005. I mean, there were some other ones that we saw, so it, like, yeah. you know, you can go very high end. So now we're gonna go have some breakfast and go explore Kefalonia and uh, possibly go to the beach if the weather continues being this nice. Beautiful morning. Now let's drive to the beach. Did I mention it's one of the top 10 beaches in the world? Yeah. All aboard, you ready? a bit of a drive from where we're staying because we're at the bottom of the island and the best beaches here in Kefalonia are more on the top but that comes with more of a higher price for accommodations but it's a really beautiful drive the only complaint which is like pretty normal in Greece so I guess we're fine with it but if you're not used to driving in small roads that are in the mountain you, you may find it a little harder to, to drive here so just be prepared it's very swervy some parts are very very narrow and you are driving through the mountains for quite a bit of the time. Because we've been in the mountains the whole time since we got here. Yeah we haven't go go gone on the shoreline yet <laughs> but that also has its benefits because you are actually getting amazing views from the top and you're seeing all of the coast and yeah it's really nice it's very lush it reminds me of you can tell it's Ionian like Corfu but we highly recommend you get a car just because it's such a big island and relying on public transportation is not gonna be sufficient. 
Right, so we had to make a little stop or to grab an umbrella because we actually found out that um, some beaches don't have the sun beds and umbrellas yet. Uh, we're at the very end of May, but I guess the season in the Ionian Islands may start a little later. So we stop at Jumbo. It's probably your best option if you're in the city or like the island you're at has a Jumbo. That's going to be one of the cheapest stores that you can actually like find stuff instead of like stopping at like the more touristy areas. All right, back on the road. We made it to Myrtos Beach. Myrtos Beach is one of the most sought after beaches on the island. And for good reason, the beach's dramatic backdrop, crystal turquoise waters, and 800 meters of shoreline makes for a spectacular beach day. In fact, at some point, it actually received a top 10 beaches around the world. I've actually been in this island before and I've been in this beach. We're here the last week of May and it's basically empty. I mean, maybe like it's 30 different groups of people, but it's such a big shoreline. What are your first impressions? Water is beautiful. I just hope it's not too cold to go and enjoy. Wow. Oh, the water's gorgeous. The only thing about this beach that makes it a bit unpleasant is actually all, all the rocks. There's all kinds of sizes. There's really big ones and smaller ones as you are approaching the water. And so unless you have water shoes, it's going to be a bit painful to go in there. So I plan on getting in, but just like plopping in. <laughs> So refreshing, cold enough to just be able to stay in there for like a good 15, 20 minutes. And we actually swam all the way to the caves and it's really cool. It's like a little beach area in there. I wish we had the waterproof gear for the GoPro. I forgot it, but what I can do, he's hot. So we're gonna put him in there. After three uncomfortable hours of laying on the pebbles, we decided it was time for dinner. As swimming in this stunning geological landscape seems to have opened up our appetite, we got in the car and drove to the closest town. We are at one of the local restaurants about a five minute drive from Mirtos Beach. It's actually called Mirtos Tavern. And uh, we're gonna have some seafood and some traditional Greek food. I know in this channel, you've seen us eat a lot of Greek food. So we're not gonna go in detail as to what each thing is. We're just going to list another Greek uh, video we've made that we go through the foods. It's really amazing. What's your favorite one so far? The vine leaves. Mm. The sauce so from Crete. Mm. <laughs> the sauce is really good. Dead plant is my favorite as well. <laughs> I love all of it. This is actually one of the dishes that we haven't talked about and it's uh, grape leaves stuffed with rice. The sauce is amazing. It's a very Greek traditional sauce and it's uh, egg lemon sauce. <laughs> Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss next week's video as we continue our Kefalonia adventure and look into the strange geological phenomena of this island. <laughs>